my friends welcome back to falcons rc the home of the scale for me yet and here we have a quick update on the mig 21i i have good news bad news and some news <laughs> ah, let's go with the good news the good news is there as you see i got my new power system over here uh this one is from hobby part and it's called i think it's named monster monster power 60 and right now it's running on idle as you see right there and that engine right there he gives honor to his name really uh it's a monster power <laughs> that thing is delivering a bunch of throws guys this plane is available to basically to hold itself again on the on the ceiling i got three fourths of a throttle and that monster power is just pushing it against the ceiling so i know i have a plenty of power now this plane weighs uh, a little bit over eight pounds so i know that motor is delivering more than nine pounds of thrust already uh, with a 13 inch prop 13 by 7 so plenty of power guys uh, also another modification i built me a uh, fiberglass nose cone right here you know to make it more, more scaled and took the prop spanner out of there and everything looking good guys and uh, now let's go to the bad news well the bad news is that i actually have has been trying to fly it again i went to the school ground again and tried to take off and everything but my, my main problem problem right here is the prop clearance uh, I just don't have enough prop clearance you know going with, with a bigger motor actually requires a bigger prop too you know and uh, they actually recommend a 14 inch prop on this thing so you can get a uh, 14 pounds of thrust but I went down to a 13 inch prop so I'm probably getting about 10 I say 10 I don't really know but I, I know I'm getting more than 8 though <laughs> so anyway you see i even moved the the engine up a little bit where i had it you know as far as i could get it up over here on the firewall and still guys uh, whenever i pull up uh, that prop, prop touches the ground and breaks i actually broke two of them already and i just i, I just know i don't have enough clearance so the option is going to be bungee launch so the bad news is that I really don't have any experience at all on bungee launch. I always hand launch my planes or some of them they have wheels. I, you know, I just run them on a little strip that I have over there and take off, you know. But I have never used bungee launch and I'm going to need to do some research on it. And I will appreciate, you know, if you have any information on bungee launch, let me know guys, because I need to build me a bungee launcher uh this thing is over eight pounds so it's gonna have to be very strong uh, i need to figure out where i can get the bungee cord and uh, you know for the moment the wheels are going to stay after even after the, the bungee step you know and um, if i don't have basically a nice place where i can take off with the bungee basically launch it with the bungee and land with the wheels that's what i'm planning to do you know but if the place where i'm going to be flying it is rough i'm just going to go ahead and take the wheels off completely because it's about one pound of weight just on the wheels so you know taking the wheels will, will help a lot if i don't use them you know so anyway guys uh, another option was i was thinking to to move this engine uh on the front but i think that looks a little bit too weird <laughs> to have the the prop on the front I, i'm not sure you know I, I don't really know it will be much better probably because you know all the air from the prop going over the control surfaces will make this thing more aerobatic let's say like that you know it will be, will be more easy to fly maybe but i just don't really want i don't want the prop on the front i think it looks weird so anyway okay guys uh any ideas on the bungee launcher or however is it called let me know i'm all ears i have no experience on it uh although i'm going to build it and i'm going to test it with my small plans first uh and see how it works you know and then we're going to move into the big one but anyhow guys this is what this thing looks like now brother uh, also as you can see the control surfaces uh, I try to 
to get him a scale, uh, you see right here, the, the, the hinges are actually high, so they are the bullet hinges, I think they are called bullet or something like that, so I went to the trouble and removed my alerons and redo it to make it more, look more scale. Uh, these pens right here are going to be cut and this is going to be covered to make it look nice. Flaps right here, you see there they basically look, look smooth and then they just go down right there and the rudder is the same way actually the rudder was the first one I did and I like the way it looks so I went ahead and did the alerons the same way the rudder and flaps of course uh, so anyway guys uh, any ideas on the bungee launcher just let me know I will appreciate it uh, also one more thing though <laughs> I'm running it on a six cell uh, lipo battery I'm actually joining two three cells making it a six cell lipo uh, that's how I'm getting all that bunch of power so okay guys thank you for watching and we'll I keep you basically update on it and help me with the bungee launcher see you next fly